Hey guys, it's Dave here from Where Games once again, and we are back with another banished video. Why another banished video, you might ask, because that's what you guys seem to like watching. So that's what we will give you. If you like to see other games, then let us know about those too, and we will try them and talk funny while we watch them and play them with you. Anyways, today we are going to talk about Banished and one of the new mods that's come out uh, just recently here. And it's called the Colonial Charter Iron Curtain from the Black Liquid team. They also did the uh, Maple Harpoon. You may be familiar with that if you've watched our other videos. If you haven't, do totally stop this one and go back and watch it right now. We'll wait. Okay. Okay, you're back. Cool. So you've seen those ones. Now you know what you're up against. Um, uh, so basically, this is a new mod that puts uh, the banished world into the colonial times. Colonial American, I would suspect, but who knows. I'm not going to make that call. You can if you want. Anywho, so we're going to do that. So uh, in order to do this, we had to go into, uh, because I have the Steam version, we went into the Steam workshop. We subscribed to uh, the Colonial Charter dealie. And then it uh, updated our Steam version of Banished for us, and boom, there we are. We go into mods, we've got that, and then there's also this workshop browse workshop, and there's all kinds of other stuff here. Good lord, if we did a video for every one of these, we would do nothing but videos, and you would love us endlessly. So maybe we'll do that, but today we're just going to worry about the Iron Curtain. As you can see, we've got some other mods enabled here. Hopefully they won't mess anything up. If they do, then, well, that's our own fault. So we're going to do a new town. Our town's name is Gorinda. Gorinda. We're going to do a large, we're going to do mild climate. We're going to do easy. Why? Because there's going to be enough stuff to look at without having to make it harder on ourselves. Your country has rested off their colonial ambitions on your venture. Your job is to ins ensure the survival of your country's citizens. Wow, that's not putting a lot of pressure on me right away or anything, hey? All right. You know, I feel like I'm up to the task, so uh, I will I will take that challenge on. And uh, you will watch me do it, and you will uh, criticize and comment on the way that I do it. That's the agreement we've made with each other here. All right, so first things first. If you've never played Banished before, this is probably not the best place to start. Uh, there's lots of other videos that we've made about how to start playing Banished. You might want to check some of them out. Uh, how are we doing river-wise here? Uh, there's the River River. And it's not insanely far away from where we started, but it's not super close. Anyways, that's okay. We can build a little village around here. We've got some people. We've got some cows. We're going to make some magic. That's just what we do. So uh, the first thing we should do is check out some of the new features that we've got. We've got in our homes and housing. We've got a tiny shack. We've got our standard wooden house. We've got our log cabin. Stone house. Uh, the country house. Ooh, fancy. A town abode. And a large residence. And the boarding house. So we've got all kinds of houses that we can try out that are brand new. In our uh, roads and bridges menu, we've got our dirt road, we've got our stone road, we've got our brick road. Follow the brick road. And then we can do some flattening, and we've got wood and stone bridges. And our storage, as before, stockpile, specialized stockpiles, market. Trading post, we've got our bank barn, our dry storage, grain silo, root silo, and the meat locker. So a lot of these are familiar from the other... Uh, Colonial Charter uh, mod, Maple Harpoon, uh, our town services, we've got our standard stuff, we've got some extra houses of worship, an abbey and the back alley as we did before. All kinds of stuff, resource production, good lord. Alright, so we're going to get into this, look at this, this is our uh, walls that we can build on the key. So for shoreline stuff, that's kind of fun. And some cool, 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 cool decorative stuff. Okay, so let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Um, I'm going to put a gatherer's hut up first. It's just what we do. It's what we've been trained to do. It's what we'll continue to do. I'm sorry, I was whispering there. Um, I'm going to put in a pasture right away because the last time we did this we forgot. And then our cows stood out in the 
area for quite a long time. Look, a fenceless pasture where you build your own fence and a standard pasture. Oh, I'm going to go with standard pasture for now. We're going to experiment with the other uh, not too, too long from now. Uh, where do we want to put our pasture? That's a great question. How about over here? Sure. Standard pasture over there. And let's get some fields in. We don't normally do this when we play the standard game, but but that's what we're going to do. Why? Because I'm feeling a little crazy today, guys. Crazy. And then let's get our menus up here. Uh, our event log. I like to have that down in the corner. And I like to have my stats up and this gigantic profession chart. So we know we need some builders right away. We know that. And let's do this. All right, and we know that 10 times on the Colonial Charter is fast. So we're gonna send our people out. They are gonna gather things. We can also tell everybody to gather everything in the areas that we want them to gather. Look at that, some red trees. Kind of like season, well, it's spring. So maybe they're just red. That's how they are. Native trees in this area. That's kind of fun. We're probably going to need to uh, create yet another stockpile. Because we haven't built a lot and this stockpile will get used up fast. Or the area that we have left for it. So Let's fill that one up. Quick, quick, quick. And yeah, so here we are once again. Building things, ensuring the survival of many. It's what we do. It's what we like. Um, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? Uh, I'm kind of digging these colonial uh, charter mods. They're fun. They got lots of new stuff in them. I still haven't really mastered them, uh, but that's mostly due to my own incompetence, not anything to do with the mod itself. It's it's a fun mod and. Uh, it will take me a lot longer to get used to everything. I just haven't had that much time to play lately because of that darn real life stuff. But you know, if say 10,000 of you were to subscribe overnight and start uh, watching the video on a regular basis, I could quit the day job. So it really, it's, it's on you guys. Look, Sorghum, yay. We had a lot of trouble finding Sorghum in the last game, so it's kind of cool that we got some right off the hop here. So, everyone's taking the food, put it in their homes, as they'll do. Need to get a few farmers on those fields. So we will do that. Uh, let's throw a couple new houses up while we're at it. How about a tiny shack or two? I like that idea. Let's do that. And then maybe a log cabin, just so we can see what some of these new dealios look like. Shall we? Let's. Let's shall as the British might say. And our gatherer's hut is ready to go as well. So we need to put some gatherers on the job. Running out of builders. But that's how it goes. That, my friends, is how it goes. Oh, look, we've got people that uh, have no food already. Cool. It's not starving yet, but the house itself has no food in it because we have produced no food yet. Our gatherer's hut should take care of that pretty quickly. Or maybe they just needed to go and get some from the storage barn. What tiny amount there was. And of course we've totally neglected to do the playing this game. Which is to build, say, a woodcutter. And a blacksmith and all that kind of noise. We are gonna put back the blacksmith. Oh, we can't put him there though. Too close to the hill. So we'll put them over there. And of course we're trying to move in way too fast here. But that's what we'll do. It's just how we roll here in the colonial days of your of your ancestors, as the complete saying would go. No, it wouldn't. That's not true at all. Okay, so we need where's our herdsman? We need a herdsman or two. It's probably just one, I think. Unless something's changed about the pastures. 
All right, so good start. We got some cows and we've got some sorghums. We should be able to make uh, to bake things right off the hop, and uh, we because we've got milk and we've got or we will have flour fairly shortly. Got a little bit of food coming in. Uh, should really have gotten moving faster on that woodcutter. So let's make that happen. And there's not a ton of food stored for the winter either. We're living dangerously, people. It's just how it goes. We've got 50 units of food hanging out for these people. By next year, we should have enough crops for everybody. But for this year, not so much. And now we're going to need a woodcutter. And there we go. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll make it through the winter. Here's our tiny shacks. You can see what they look like. They are indeed tiny and they're somewhat shacky, I'd say. And they hold two to three people is my understanding. So you're not going to get a giant family out of the people living there. And we have some log cabins. Oh, look at that. If we had bothered to actually look, we'd see that we need rope to build log cabins. So. We do not have them yet. We do not have rope. When we get rope, we will be able to complete those. That's all right. Our pasture is up and running. We have one of our crop fields, two of our crop fields ready. We're going to make watermelons and sorghum. These people are going to eat like gods. And other than that, we've told them just to gather, gather, gather. Like you do, you know. Uh, maybe we'll put a bit of road in here. We've got a lot of stone on the go. We'll probably end up moving that way anyway, so... There you go, a little stone road coming in. I think uh, we'll probably move towards the water over here and use this whole area over here as our town, per se. Per se. Our blacksmith is up and running. We will get somebody working at the blacksmith. There you go. No food. Absolutely no food right now. Living dangerous. Just how we like it, though. That's okay. Soon, food for everyone. But will it be soon enough? My gut says, uh, put another gatherer's hut in for the time being. Uh, it's going to be a bit of an... If we put it there... Oh, no, we're good for overlap. Yeah, let's put it in there. Get the people working on that. Build it fast. If I remember correctly, the last time we did one of the colonial charters, we didn't have a large issue with food. We were able to create tons of food in a very short period of time. So I'm not going to sweat that right now, but, you know, food is a, a good thing to be able to have. Yeah, you know, good to have a lot of food. So your people aren't dying all over the place. It just slows things down. Blacksmith's hit his limit. Don't really want to spend a ton of resources on blacksmith stuff. But let's get the woodcutter going. A little faster. Uh, okay, so we're looking at our houses here. All of our improved and fancier houses need stuff we don't have. Except for this town abode. It's a home for a family of four. And our wood house is probably going to do more than that. But let's build an abode. This might be a way to control your population as well if you don't want a huge, huge population. You can build these houses where the people will not uh, put as much stuff in. So That could be your strategy if you employ such things. We prefer to just live on the edge. Screw strategy is what we say. That's never what we say. Okay, so let's check some resource production here. Oh, there's a sawmill. Do, 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 do. Requires steel tools. So we could put a sawmill in. We're not going to do that. We're going to jump on that just yet. But why don't we look at building a water mill. I don't know if we can do it on this tiny river piece here. 
Because it's not really rivery enough, I don't think. I think you're going to need the full-on river to make that happen instead of just this little creek. Yeah, I don't see it happening. So we could put the water mill in pretty far away from where the crops happen. Where will the water mill be happy? There's like one spot it will be happy right there. And another spot there. Okay, we're just we're doing do it. That uh, don't care. Making it happen. Putting in a dirt road just to give ourselves an idea of where things are. I like to do that a little bit. And how are things going here? Do we have both of our gatherers' huts oh, up and running? Still not a ton of food. Don't have a lot of people working at them yet, so let's change that up. We've got our crop coming in, our sorghum. Uh, but of course, it's not actual food, so we're not uh, eating it per se, I don't think. Maybe they are. Sure. Okay, maybe I'm a dummy. And you can eat sorghum and like it. Yeah, look at that. People are taking the sorghum. So there you go. We've got enough food to last us a little while. We're going to try to get some bacon going for year three. Added a few more houses there. We've got our two new... we got our abode. It's a pretty nice little abode. You can see that. Look at that. It's got the little white front on it. Fancy. Uh, if you're noticing that our zooming in and out is much clearer than it used to be in our other videos, that's because we uh, actually looked at the settings of the program that we used to record things and made it better, because eventually we get smarter. Uh, we got a couple people on the verge of freezing. Where's that guy? Where's that guy going? Okay, those two guys are going to die, probably, because I don't even know where they are compared to the rest of our town. Oh, they're way out, way out there. All right, nothing I can do about that if they're going to be dumb enough to travel that far away. I don't think I told them to build anything that far away. Maybe they're just trying to find a way back in from the gathering. I guess we could build a tunnel. I don't know if that's an actual problem because these guys are walking across. So could put a stone road. Oh no! See, look, they they won't build a road there. Oh dear! I think we just told them to build a giant stone road. Uh, so we need to cancel that. No, oh, we don't want to cancel removal. We want to cancel road. Yeah, remove that road. And wherever the rest of that road went. Yeah, we don't want to do that. See, guys, even the pros make mistakes. <laughs> I'm so not a pro. Um, we'll leave that bit of the road in just because it's funny to me that it's there. But we will put a tunnel in here. And lo, they began building a tunnel. And people are starving. Why is that guy starving? Because he was trying to build a road out into the middle of nowhere. That was probably the two people that wandered out into the boonies. It could be based on this tunnel here. This could be the problem. Oh, and we're out, almost out of stone. Huh. Look at that. Alright, I know. It's not my best game, guys. Don't just chill. You're not all perfect either. Alright? Let's just get along. So, uh, we're going to collect some more stone from our little area here. And finish building our stuff. And then we can exploit this area. And there we go, our tunnel is complete. So now our gatherers can actually get back to us without having to go around the map, if indeed that is what happened there, why they were trying to go all the way around. A child named Jamilania. Jamilania. That's a crazy name. 
And we have no schools or anything like that going yet. But that's okay. Oh, look, our water mill is now ready. So we need a miller. And we're going to turn sorghum into flour. So they probably need somewhere to live, these dudes. So let's throw a couple houses in up here because we're also going to want to put in... We've got our water mill, so we don't really need a windmill at this point. But we want a bakery. And... Let's put it nice and close, but not too close, because we may want to put a trading post in there, which is a, something else we should be really hustling to get done here. So yeah, it looks like we've sort of covered our basic needs here. We've got lots of food coming in. Um, we tend to not worry about clothing too much, because the game doesn't make us, so... So to heck with it is what we like to say. We could take this quiet moment to look at possibly putting in some nice looking things. Like uh, there's a, like a statue. It's, uh, it's quite a bit of stone at the moment. I don't know if we want to waste our stone on that. Uh, there's a flag. We could put our flag in here. Build a flag. There's fences and some trees. Well, let's put some flowers in. We have choices. Flower one. Oh, let's go with flower two. Okay, guys. Just a row of them right there. And they'll be lovely, I'm sure. Look at the people diligently planting the flowers for us. And our flag waving proudly. Over our little homes. All right, we've got a decent amount of firewood now. And we've got some logs stored. We've got 13 cows. We could put a dairy in. That might be a good idea, too, over here at Work Central. That's something that we had talked about doing. Where's our dairy at? Dairy, where are you? Maybe in a different menu. There it is. It was this menu. And there's the dairy. And odds are we should have another storage shack a little bit closer here. Dry storage. Grain silo. We put a grain silo in. I don't know if that will... Over... Uh, ooh, excuse me. I don't know if that'll uh, force all of the grain to the silo rather than putting it over in the other barn closer to to our uh, fields. But we're going to put a standard storage barn in here. And we need someone working in the bakery. Where's our bakers? There they are. So we're going to put two bakers and two millers on the job. And so right now we can create hardtack bread, uh, but none of the other things because we haven't gotten any... We can't make standard bread because we don't have butter yet. We won't have butter until our dairy is working properly. So we're putting two people in the dairy to create, for the time being, some butter. And they've got no flour yet, so there's some sorghum, so this is going to be happening. And our storage barn will be up. Things are moving, shaking. Lots of kids being born. We should probably build a school. One would think this would be a good time to do that. So we shall. And you know, we haven't built a... Uh, take care of a lot of our basics at this point. We also didn't build a well. We're not that... I don't think we're close enough to water that we want to risk things, so we're going to put a well in there. And then we're going to put a school in. Let's put the school in over near these guys. And I think we've got enough stuff to build all that. Get some of those kids getting educated, increasing their work output. 
And then our next reach, the thing that we should be reaching to do, I think, is uh, being able to sell some of our stuff. So we want to put a trading post in. And so there's a couple places along the shore here where we can build those. We'll probably end up making use of this little guy here at some point and putting one over here. I don't want to put the first one over here because it's a little far out. But that's an awesome place for one. And we're probably going to end up putting some stone or brick roads in there. So until they're ready, dirt road it is. We now have some milk coming into our dairy. We now have some flour in our bakery, and we have now have some sorghum in our mill, so we're actually on the verge of creating actual bread. And we've got some hardtack for people to eat. And we need some more trees. We should build a sawmill at some point. We haven't done it yet. Clear this area out. And we'll probably put a stone, or sorry, a woodcutter in over here. Do, do, do. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, forest Lodge, that's what I want. I'm going to put one in over here. So yeah, I mean, not the most concise and brilliant of towns that we've ever built, but we're kind of slowly getting things on track here. It's been about 20 minutes, and we're already producing some serious food. Actual food. So that's nice. That's that's a lovely thing. Ah, uh, we need more stone, of course. Always more stone. So we can tell our folks to collect some of the stone that we've got on this little peninsula here. Because we're going to fill all this stuff in anyway, so we might as well get what we can. Probably at some point we can experiment with building a quarry and that kind of thing. Uh, we might be just trading for our stone by that point. Who's to say? Well, I'm to say that's who. But People here love their watermelon and their sorghum. And uh, we've now got 20 cows, which means we'll be off in some cows. We'll have a little bit of beef to trade. Which is always nice. And all of our industries over here are now humming away. So we've got the flour has, sorry, the water mill uh, makes the flour from the sorghum from our field. And then it sends it over here indirectly uh, to our bakery where the flour is turned into hard tack. And soon we can actually tell it make uh, bread. Let's do that now. So there's a little bit of milk that can be turned into butter. Look, we've got some crude tools. Sweet. And then we've told them to go ahead and start building our trading posts. We're just waiting for our laborers to bring some more stone so that we can finish building our trading post. It's an exciting time here. The fourth year of Gorinda. Lots of deer, elk hanging around with no fear. They know we have no hunters. They, they're cool with it. And they know that we've got a pasture. We've got some cows. We could probably use that leather if we need to. There's a bit of leather there. A bit of leather there, sorry. So, uh, if you look here, we can also tell our guys, instead of wood and iron, to make crude tools, they can make iron tools with wood and iron. So maybe we'll do a bit of that. Gather some more iron. I suspect the iron tools work better than the crude tools. They're also much more polite and courteous. Uh, and so that's what you don't want, because the other ones were crude. Get it? Yeah, okay, it's not funny, I know. I know. I know. Hey, our trading post is almost done. That's kind of fun. So we're going to, before we forget, make somebody a trader right now, because I'll forget later. 
And our school is done, so we need a teacher. So let's make that happen. And we should have some students soon. There we go. We have our first student. Sarian. She will... Or he will grow up and become uh, the guy from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Sauron. It's not Sarian. It's close, but... It's late. I'm a little sleepy. You know, what are you going to do? All right, so our trading post is up, and we need to put things in it. So right now we've got, we could do some firewood. Uh, it's early spring, so it's as good a time as any to exploit the firewood that we have here. And eventually we're going to also bring in some, uh, some bread, some food that we can sell. For now, let's do a little bit of beef, a little bit of hardtack. Oh, no, not hardtack, sorry. And let's see how we're doing over here. This guy is up. This is our woodcutter. Or, sorry, our forester lodge. And we need to get somebody working there. He sat. There it is, forester. So, and we're just going to have them plant. It's my little quirk. I like to cut the trees down myself. Is it wrong? Bad trees. Evil trees. And since we have a woodcutter there, we know that all of these will get replanted, so... And they will grow in much faster. So, two students now. Fourteen children, two students. And we've got some butter, we've got some flour, so... We should be making some bread bread. Bread bread. Which is kind of cool. That much faster than the last time we started because we couldn't we didn't have any sorghum last time. Man, you know when you need some sorghum, you just can't find any. It's a little depressing. Everyone gets sad. So I'm all paranoid. My people are gonna go onto this side of the water and walk over there and die of cold again. So. I just canceled the trees on this side here, or I thought I did, and then discovered I didn't. Uh, probably wrong about that. What do you can do? So, we've got some trees being cut down, which should make uh, more firewood, which we're going to use to stock up in our trading post. And hopefully the dudes will come and do some good trading with us. Really, one trading post is great, but you want a lot. Oh, we're pretty close to the beginning of the trading route, which is nice. Because it just means they get to us faster when they come into town. So, should probably build another one of those. We're going to let that ride for a minute or two. We're now making uh, actual good tools, hopefully. And our blacksmithy. There we go, some iron tools and some crude tools. Now things are humming along. Should probably build another house or two. I like to build a house every couple of years just to keep the population sort of steady. If you forget to do that, then what's going to happen is you're going to have these big population dips and bumps. Hopefully you've played enough Banish that you know that already, but, you know, if not, there's a tip for you. Free from me. Here's another tip. You don't need clothes as much as everybody thinks, so... Yeah, there's that. So, from nothing, we are now producing... Bread. And, uh... That's it. Just bread, really. Uh, and we've got a dairy. That's kind of cool. Put some flowers in. They're not particularly beautiful. What are you gonna do? So, we could probably expand our fields and put some more crops in. We've really only got the watermelon right now. It's kind of boring. People don't really want more watermelon, so we won't make them work too much harder growing even more watermelon. Though we should probably uh, make sure all of this is getting out of the field. Probably crank up our farmers a little bit more. Add a few more people to the roster. Make sure all that comes out of the field, and it didn't, as you can see here, so we've lost all that. 
keep a better eye on that. And it looks like all of our sorghum got out of the field, though. How are we doing over here? We have 540 firewood, just like we'd asked for. We've got a little bit of beef, 160, some leather. Oh, and look at that. Buddy showed up to trade with us. So we're just going to stop the clock for a minute just to make sure everything is good. Oh, look, we got some hemp. That's a nice thing to trade for. And some cotton, which we'll trade for because we're bored of having nothing to trade for. So we shall trade some firewood for this. We'll click this one because it's not a huge amount. Uh, and it doesn't require me to do any math. So orders, long-term orders, bring us beeswax. We can probably make our own later, but for now, bring us beeswax. Bring us some... Hmm, what else do we want? Rope. We definitely want rope. Bring us some sand. Sure, why not? Uh, and bring us some hemp. Some joists. You know what? Just, heck, bring it all. Boom, 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 boom. Every time you come, bring everything you have every time you come. It's not asking too much, is it? I think not. All right, so we've got the hemp. I believe we can build that using a ropery. That's what they call it, isn't it? It's a ropery. Where's the ropery? Guys, it's not called that. I'm totally talking garbage here. Charcoal burner. Layered wood is stacked together in piles and burned into charcoal. You can heat, f heat homes or working with at lower temperatures. So we could eventually make some charcoal here. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it is called a ropery. I told you. Told you. We're going to put that in because I think the hemp is an important thing in this game. So it is a ropery. I was just being an ass, but it is in fact a ropery. So there you go. <laughs> Sometimes the smart guy is smarter than he thinks. Uh, we might put in another road. Another road. Over on this side. And hook that up with this road. I don't know how closely they're going to actually follow these dirt roads, but we'll eventually make them stone roads fact let's do that because this is a stone road right up to there and this is a very important thoroughfare for our people so let us stone it let that happen so we are waiting for some more butter and the dairy guys are going to make that for us how are we doing for bread now And we got we bought some cotton, so I guess we could build a tailor and make some clothes. Begrudgingly. Guess we could clothe our people. Alright, the time has come. We are going to build a tailor. Not sure we can staff our tailor, but... We're going to build one nonetheless. We do need a few more people. Of course, the next people that come into the workforce will be educated and awesome people. And we'll enjoy that. Got two more students. Just recently. Alright, we're digging this. And we've got uh, our firewood hanging out there. Waiting for our ropery and our tailor to be built. We're all about second level production buildings in this here land. Uh, the other thing we could get into doing is, like I said, we could build an apiary which will give us some beeswax. We could make some candles. We could also uh, build a sand quarry daily and make some glass, which we can then trade and we can also use to make some of the higher level houses. We're going to have some rope soon, which will allow us to build those log cabins that we set up much, much, much earlier. So yeah, we have nothing but potential. Choices abound. I think is what we're trying to say. And maybe just a touch of a labor shortage, just because we're trying to expand so fast right now. Uh, so let's just check out. We're not actually going to put in the the sand dealy. Where is the sand dealy? There's a glassworks. 
The bundling shed. Oh yeah, we should build a sawmill. We're not really working on a firewood economy, but at the time, at this time, we're, we are kind of doing that. Where did our silkworm hut ropery, the charcoal burner, is it a gathering thing? Sugar house. Wharf and ship. It shouldn't be in this menu. That would be weird if it was. It's not. Uh, okay, so. Should be in the resource menu, right? Or did they take that out? Blacksmith Taylor. The bundling shed. The shore house. That's what it's called. And hopefully we can build one along these shores. There you go. See, we could put a shore house in. We'd very quickly have some sand, and then we could turn that into glass. And we'd be awesome. You know what? Let's just do it. You know what, guys? Let's just do it. Why are we waiting around? We only live once, man. Let's do it. Let's make that happen. So we are going to build it. Uh, we've hit our food limit, which is cool. I forgot to crank the food limit up. Still not sure why you'd want a food limit. Why would you want only a certain amount of food? I am never satisfied with the amount of food. We could have 27,000 food units, and I still would not be pleased. You'd be begging for more food. All right, so we're going to put a dude to work in the ropery. He's called a roper. Mr. Probably Mr. Roper is what they call him. His wife is loud and annoys people. And they rent out a room to some crazy young kids that have moved into town. If you're over the age of 32, you probably got that joke. If you're not, do some research. You got Google in front of you. You're on a computer of some kind. Or a phone, or tablet, or phablet, or phoblet, or whatever it's called. Alright, so... The roper is waiting for some rope. And we don't have any flax, but we do have hemp. Not a lot of it. Oh, and a merchant's at the merchant. The trading post. He's brought us whale meat and chicken. The whale meat is nice and cheap, so we're going to buy some of that. We don't really need it. But just to be fun, we're going to do that. And it's not super expensive, so let's do it. Oh, and we forgot to tell him to come back and bring us other things. That was a mistake. And our ropery now has our hemp. It's going to build some rope for us. Kind of fun. Which will allow... See, way back in the day here, we put in these two log cabins, and they need some rope. And soon they will have it. And someone is traveling out again. Oh, not too far away from home. Don't go too far away from home. Go inside, get some warm somewhere. There we go crazy person. Oh, I didn't mean to follow you. Nobody wants to follow you. You're not that interesting. And we need a tailor. Someone who will be swift about making... Get, get it? Taylor Swift? Ah, oh, never mind. We do have some cloth, so we're going to start with the cloth until it runs out. And then when it does run out, we'll uh, revert back to the leather, because we do have some leather. Not a ton. We actually are selling it all at the moment. Might be able to get a bit in the door. Maybe we don't have enough hemp to actually build rope yet. We might need a bit more. That's okay. We'll deal. And we're just going to grab the remaining resources from this area here. And so, hey, we've got a graduate. Yay. Must have had more than one because she's not the first person to join our school. But that's good. So, what next? Did we put our sand dude in as he built? Yep. All right, where's sand guy? Sandman, Mr. Sandman. Where are you? There he is. Shore man. And then we can put in, maybe over here, we'll put in the glass industry. To start, to start, and where is our glassworks? There is glassworks is actually a pretty sizable building, and it needs 40 of the buckets. I think it's probably buckets of sand, 
perhaps? Yes. And we can tell him to dig sand or clay or catch turtles or frogs. I guess if we're really desperate for food or we're feeling like we want a fancy French treat, we could do that. All right. Having some fun. Kicking it. Living off the land. Expanding our population slowly. That's what we're about. Got a few extra laborers. I'm going to put another house in. You know what, guys? I'm that crazy. And uh, we're going to put a stone house in here just in case anybody does get cold. They can always come in and warm up in the stone house. And some more educated laborers coming into the market. So we're still not producing any tradables. I mean, we've got bread to feed our people. I guess we could trade away some of the bread we're making. Wouldn't be the worst idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. But our glassworks will do that. They'll give us something that we can start trading away. And here's a merchant. Now, before we forget, we should tell them, bring us things. This is a food merchant, so he's got lots of sort of end food products. We don't need to... You know, we could buy some of the grains, if he's got any of the grains. It doesn't look like he does. Uh, he's got the maple sap and the mulberry leaf and the red mulberries. Uh, uh, those are new, so I want to get some of those because they sound fun. And other than that, it's mostly just food. Uh, sugar might come in handy because we can turn that into stuff. And bring those every time. We'll be adding more later. Look, he's got soybean and quinces and pears. So we could probably use some of those too turn into uh, food and flour and uh, the pears we can probably make alcohol with if I'm not mistaken I'm often mistaken by the way guys don't don't, be, don't get me wrong uh, we've got a lot of leather we got enough oh we don't have enough leather to complete but almost and you know what let's save some of that firewood and use some beef trade. Dismissed. Alright, so we got some uh, soybeans and some ginses. And we've got some pears. So, we could at the bakery. Oh, see, look, we could get apricot. We could make fruit cake. Oh, that would be fancy. And for now, we're just going to keep doing our bread and butter. And Muhammad has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Maybe he'll be a glass worker one day. Who knows? So we got two glass makers. And we're asking them to make glass from what? Sand and coal. No, sand and firewood for the time being. Someone is hungry. Who is hungry? The new house we've just built. Oh, it's that guy. Why do you guys keep going so far away? That's what I want to know. Where are you going? Let's follow this guy. Figure out what he's up to. He's going back there. What's he doing? You there. You there. Wait. Pause. Where'd you go? There. Going to get something to eat. She's not educated. That's pretty clear. He's got no tools. Okay, so we've probably gone through our cloth. And if so, then we will switch back to leather. So any of the additional leather that comes out that isn't getting used at the trading post will then become clothing for people. That lady that's starving, I don't know what's going on with her. She's weird. She's just going very far away for some reason. This is where she lives? Nope. Her name was Wilhelmina, unless that's someone else who's also starving. It's the laborers, probably. And our laborers starved. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they're trying to go too far around again to get to stuff that we've told them to take out. 
We need another tunnel. It seems dumb to build another tunnel, but we're going to. Mm, or not. There we go. We'll build a tunnel there. It takes a lot of stone to build that tunnel. I'd better keep people alive if we're going to build it. And we don't have any more stone in this side of things. Maybe they'll die while they go get the stone. That they need to build the tunnel that will save their lives. <laughs> the way I look at it, guys, if they're not smart enough to go through the tunnel and take the short route, then maybe he's, you know, freezing to death isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, maybe they need a little bit of a natural selection to keep things moving in the right direction. All right, our glassworks has a little bit of firewood and is now awaiting the arrival of some sand. And then we can make some glass. Then I think we can build a glass something. Or maybe glass is the end product. Maybe we can build something else. I think the glassworks might be the end product. The ropery. That's funny. As the weaver makes linen cloth and silk out of flax cotton and silkworm cocoons. Uh, I don't think we want to jump into that industry just yet. All right, so. So yeah, here we go. There's another guy that's coming to town here. He's got some cream. We might want to get some cream. What can we do with the cream? Can we bake things with it? Nothing there. Probably there's something fancy we can do with it. Uh, we could get some pumpkin seeds if we've got enough. I don't know as we do, but let's see. Yeah, I bet you we can. It's gonna cost a lot of what we have. But we will get, we'll take your pumpkin seeds. And we will order from you. Bring us the following. Bring us some sheep. Bring us some mulberry seeds. We need the mulberry seeds. Hemp seeds. That would be fantastic. Cotton seeds would be great. Uh, what else do we need? We already got sorghum seeds. We don't need more watermelon seeds. Sugarcane seeds. That should be plenty to start with. We've already traded, and we've told her to bring stuff so she can go. So yeah, we can put in another field and put in some pumpkin, and that'll be a little bit different still of a crop. Uh, it's late in the summer, so we're not really going to get anything out of our crop until next year. But we can put in another crop field over here. Should actually crank a few more farmers in there, because we were having trouble getting our watermelons out of the ground in time or off of the ground of course they grow above the ground as we all know maybe we don't all know that watermelons grow above the ground by the way and that field is ready it didn't take long to clear that so next year we will have them clear or sorry, have them grow pumpkins. It's kind of fun. And we need some more logs. I think that one forester is getting the job done over here. We can grab all that stuff. Grab all this stuff. Just clear that area out, guys. Oh, and it looks like our other tunnel is done. Let's see if anyone's freezing this winter. Where did our tunnel come out? There's the first end of our tunnel. Do, do, do. No, we've got two people freezing once again. See, they're still using that outside route. I think they're going way over here to get stuff, and that's what's causing them to freeze. I don't normally have freezing issues with my people, even if they don't have clothing, so... Maybe we need to reassess. Got another merchant. Wow, they're coming fast and furious. This could be an improvement that the 
boys and possibly girls. I shouldn't say possibly, could just as well be girls working at the the mod creators. Um, okay. We want sheep. We will take four of them. Bring us more sheep and cows. All the time. Ah, oh, don't tell me I forgot to... Oh. I think I forgot to actually push the button on that trade, which I should have done. No sheep for us. That's just because I'm dumb. Well, I'm not dumb. It just it happens once in a while, right? You make a mistake. Oh, well. C'est la vie. Such is life. No, I did get the sheep. I heard them. Okay, so I'm dumb. Not because I forgot to make the trade. I'm dumb because I didn't realize I made the trade. And let us put in yet another pasture. Where you must build your... I'm, I'm scared to build my own fence, guys, for the pasture. I'm gonna just use the standard pasture because I'm a coward. All right, we've got a decent workforce now. Got a few extra laborers hanging around. Just gonna see if we need to bump up anything that we've already got built. In spring, we've got some pumpkin going into the ground. Um, we could look at some alcohol production. There's a public inn we can build. There's a brewery, a winery, and a distillery. Grains and other organics are distilled. All right, let's uh, let's put a distillery and a brewery in, just to see what we can create here. Hopefully, our pumpkin and our pear is probably eating all of our pears by now. We could put in an orchard and see how that goes. I mean, the orchards are pretty slow unless the the mod dudes have uh, made them better. They're almost useless, generally, so probably easier to just buy whatever you need and make use of what's there. Alright, so you can see they've done a good job of clearing all that out. How are we doing here? We've got firewood, we've got some sand. Not a ton of sand. We should actually tell these guys to uh, take some glass. Just get all the glass you can. Look at that. Well done with the trading post. There's another one. Fast and furious. They've got some ale. We're going to try to make our own. We don't really need any right now. Maybe we'll ask them to bring t pipe tobacco when they come visit and wine. Sure. See ya. And they're saying our reserve of firewood is low. We've got our firewood being built. We need steel tools to build a sawmill, so we could do that. Which means I gotta buy some steel tools the next time they come into town. Or we could upgrade, I guess, to steel tools. I'm not sure how we do that. We might need a... I didn't see it in the list here. Unless there's another forge or something like that that we have to build. blacksmith, the tailor, the bundling shed, the shore house, the chandlery, the glassworks, the charcoal burner. That might be a fun one to try out too. Alright, our tailor is not having a ton of success. I don't think we have a lot in the way of leather. But we did just buy some sheep. So we could tell them to start using wool. It might not be uh, immediate. It'll be a little while before we get that. But at some point, we should have enough wool to make clothing. And there's our standard pasture. Put some sheep in there. And we add an extra herder or two. Uh, 
Okay, so our brewery is up. And we can make a pumpkin ale. We could use the pears that we had. I don't know if we still have them or not. I suspect we don't. So we'll be switching that over to pumpkin pretty quickly. So we need our brewer. Brewer. Where are you, brewer? There you are. Oh, we need some bricks for our distillery. So, how are we going to make some bricks, you guys? How does one make bricks? Alright. Let's see if we can figure this out. Let's see if we're smart enough to sort this out. It's probably not the bundling shed. The glassworks, the charcoal burner, none of these sound like a place where one would make bricks. I would think a brickworks would be the place. Uh, no and no. Town services also doesn't sound right. Maybe we have to buy bricks. I don't know. You might know. You're probably screaming at me right now. Especially the mod developers, because I know sometimes they... Listen and watch these videos, and they're saying, You are dumb. Why don't you read the development notes when we give them to you? You spent all those time, so there's some, there should be a brickworks, in fact, uh, that we can use. But where is it, you might ask? Oh, look, frock coats. Uh, we're going to not need any of this stuff. We're going to make our own. It's going to be a few years, guys, but we're going to make our own. So, see ya. <laughs> that was probably a dumb idea. Okay, so... If there's a Brickworks, where on our menu would it be? Sawmills, Forester Lodges... Hmm, am I not seeing something? Do I have less than the full menu? Wouldn't be in alcohol production. It's not in that menu. This is decorative items. Hmm. I'm sure I'm just missing something, guys. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Stone and housing. This stuff. Yeah, I'm just not sure where it would fall menu-wise. This is should be all food production. Water mill and windmill. Gatherer's hut and oil press. Bakery, sugar horse, the wharf and distributor. Can't even speak anymore properly. Sawmills, forces lodge. Yeah, anyways, I'm not going to bore you to tears. I'll figure it out at some other point, and then we'll move forward from there. So our distillery will not be built until such time as we either get bricks imported or figure out how to make them on our own. And that's okay. We're not sweating that. We've got some glass. Some nice valuable glass. That's great. We've got our pasture up and running four sheep in there right now. Soon we'll have more. Mer cows are quite happy. So we've got our uh, glassworks running. Let's look at the charcoal thing, shall we? Why not? It's the whole purpose of this is to bring in some new stuff and try out some new things. Where was our charcoal burner? All right, so let's see what effect a charcoal burner has on us, on our stuff and things. And we're finding we've got a bit of a population surplus at this point, which is kind of nice. Our food levels look pretty decent. We've got some ale on the go. Should we maybe build something that serve the ale in? Oh, look at that. Inn and garden is gigantic. Let's put one in right near the charcoal burner. Now, 
Let's put one in over... Jeez, where are we going to put this thing? Hmm. It's big. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be over this way a little bit. All right, we're going to put the inn and garden. Both of them will go over there. So, our charcoal burner. We're going to need some clay for our charcoal burner. And we know that our little sand house over here made some of that. And we've got enough people we can build another one of those. So let's do that. Get a little dual production. Our short house, I'm sorry. The correct terminology. So we can put in another short house there. We need a third one. Let's put a third one in because they only use one person each. So we're going to need those before we can build the inn. And they're pretty quick and they just use logs. We need some more logs. We can always harvest some more trees. And we might even build a sawmill soon too, you crazies. Why? It's just the kind of people we are. Got another merchant arriving. Oh look, he brought some of the things we asked for. So, let us use most of our firewood. And yes, I know we can just type these numbers in, but it's not that much clicking, so we'll do it. Oh, well, let's trade all the glass we have. And we'll keep the... Uh, we will keep the bread for now. What do we want more? Hemp or sugar cane? I think we need the hemp. And let's buy a sheep. And maybe we will need to use... Oh... Man, we didn't use all of it, did we? Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so let us trade. And we will continue to have this guy bring things every time. So we have our hemp seeds now. We can build. We can make some hemp. So we're going to need to make that happen soon. That's going to be our hemp field over there. Although we'll probably swap this one. Make this the pumpkin field and make this the hemp. And that way they don't have to go as far to get to the ropery. And we'll see, maybe the rope is something we can sell as well. Make that pumpkin. Do we have some rope at this point in time? It is not appearing on our menu. Okay, that's alright. So, our hempers are going to start hempering. We, how are our sand houses doing over here? They're not sand houses, they are shore houses. We've got three shoremen, and we want them to dig clay. Just for now. Actually, I want you to dig sand because this guy's clearly not keeping up. So, so that one guy will dig clay until such time as we have enough clay, 40 units, to build this charcoal burner, and then we'll start building, burning charcoal, and maybe that will reduce the amount of firewood we use and allow us to do some other cool stuff. That is our hope. All right. So yeah, we're still clicking along here. We're probably getting to the point where we should s end up this chapter, but let's hang on for a couple more minutes and see if we can get a couple of those other things built because this is exciting. Up to seven sheep. I have no clothes yet still. Though the wool is not being used for anything else. Inn and Garden is now built. There's some alcohol being served in it. It's beautiful. We could build roads out of all corners of it if we so desired. Our pumpkin brewery has stopped brewing pumpkin because they either used all of it or ate all of it last year. Look at our hemp field is already at 80% of its yield. Fantastic. We've got lots of farmers on the job. 
Could even throw a few more at it. And our cows are good. They're at full capacity. Our clay guys and sand guys are digging the things they should. I wonder if we've got any buckets of clay. We do. Look at that. 28 buckets of clay already. So we should have our charcoal burner up and running soon. Yeah, I mean, maybe growth-wise we should be leaving ourselves more room to build into here. We're not really thinking too far ahead, but we got a lot of cool stuff going a lot faster than we did in the Maple Harpoon. I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that we had the, the sorghum to start with. And we didn't, we could get the bread up and running fast. Look at that. Already we're, we are harvesting the hemp. Which means that our ropery should be up and running fairly quickly. And I think we just got enough clay to start our charcoal burner building. And so we have. Oh, look, we've got one coat. Yay, stored glows. Go us. Okay, so the charcoal burner is up and running. We need to put someone on the job. And we can make charcoal out of wood. And then that will be used to burn. And my assumption is that it will be a little bit uh, more efficient than firewood for burning, perhaps. I'm not sure where it's going to end up, whether it's at that storage barn or whether it's at this storage barn, we should really start making use of the actual fancy buildings that do all this kind of stuff for us. The dry storage, that kind of thing. Put one of those in dry storage. And then we'll be able to find the things we're looking for a little bit faster and easier. Uh, our roper is now able to rope. Our charcoal burner is burning logs for charcoal. And we have yet another merchant. Oh, well done with the merchants. This is so nice. And he's just got sheep to trade us, which is all we've asked for is sheep and cows. Uh, and I'm inclined to buy more sheep because it shall make our lives easier in the long run. Though they are quite expensive. All right, we bought two more sheep. Soon we'll be able to buy all the sheep they have and more and more. So we're up to nine now. And then we'll have some tailoring to do after that. So lots of hemp. We can see that we've got 469 units waiting and we've already got a bunch of ropes. Uh, in the build, being built. Ropering, as it were. And here's our dry storage. We've got a unit of rope. Yay! Oh, and it's gone. So let's see, in our inventory here now, we can add, let's say, 40 units of rope. Let's add just a little bit of hemp. I just want to see what these things are all worth. Charcoal. When we go to trade. Rope is huge. 35, look at that. And charcoal's not too much. The hemp's not bad. So we are not going to trade hemp. We'll not trade charcoal. We'll use that to feed the people. But rope. Rope will make us kings of industry. And we're running out of trees again, so let us harvest the mighty trees of our area. Yeah, and labor-wise we're doing good too. We've got probably more people than we can use. We should probably start expanding some things. So this we still got hemp from last season, and we're already starting to grow some more. For this season, we could probably throw another ropery in. Let's do that. 
Where was the roper? There he is. Make twice as much rope. We've got none here yet. Oh, and our log cabin should be done now because we have rope. There's one of our log cabins. The other one is waiting for I its piece of rope, I guess. So maybe that's the drawback to the ropery is that it goes pretty slow as far as actually creating enough stuff. But we've just doubled our production, so... Ha! Yeah, take that! Alright, so this is going to, I think, bring us to the end of our first chapter here in Gorinda. And we've had some fun, and we've built some stuff. Made some rope. And we're pretty s well situated to start... Uh, start really thriving here and so hopefully you'll join me and watch us thrive in the second part of this which will be available shortly thank you very much for watching uh, our where games video it is really appreciated and uh, if you enjoyed it if you had a good time please like or subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you didn't enjoy it you could still leave a comment we always like to hear what people think and uh, you know we say that all the time but it's really true because you can't get any better if you don't know what you're doing wrong. All right, uh, have a good one, and we will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.